No matter how you plan on sharing your project, publishing is a breeze. We just go up to the Publish menu here and choose Build. Let's take a look at our options here. We can burn it directly to a CD or DVD-ROM by just choosing that option and pressing Next, and then choosing our CD or DVD writer here, naming our project, selecting our options, and pressing Burn. It's super quick and easy, and you've got your project ready to go, ready to distribute without the need for any external software. So that's a handy option. Let's go ahead and press Back, and we'll look at the next option. This is the Hard Drive Folder option. This is probably the most flexible of all the options here because it publishes your project directly to a folder. You can then go back later and burn that to a CD or DVD-ROM, zip it up and put it on your website, or even package it up with an install maker like Setup Factory. So let's go ahead and try that out. We'll press Next. Then we're going to go ahead and leave this folder where we have it set, and we're going to leave the default name and autoplay feature enabled and press Build. We'll see how quick this is. It's done already. It's built our entire project. And we'll go into the folder here. And as you can see, it's got a folder and three different icons here. It's got one for our application icon, one for our auto run inf file, and one for our exe file. If I click on that exe file, it'll run our project. And there you go. This is the project we were working on in a previous lesson. If I press exit, we're back in this folder and we'll take a look inside the autoplay folder here. As you can see, it's included the folders from our project folder that we looked at earlier, but it's only included the ones that contain content. It's eliminated all the other ones to optimize the end file size. So that's very handy. As you can see, we could just take this stuff directly like that, add it to a zip file, burn it to a CD or DVD-ROM, etc. We could even distribute it as is by just adding it to an installation file. So let's go ahead and close that down. I'm actually going to go ahead and delete that folder. And we're going to go back and take a look at another option here. So that was our hard drive folder option. Now let's look at the web slash email executable option. What this does is it goes ahead and compresses everything into one single executable file. Let's go ahead and press next. And we'll leave this folder option here. We've got it set to auto run exe on our desktop. And we're going to leave the progress window option on. And what that does is while your file is decompressing and running, it'll actually show a progress window so people are aware what's going on. And we're going to leave these other options unchecked, but if you like, you can actually encrypt your data segment of your application or enable the auto run feature from here. So let's go ahead and press build. As you can see, it's really, really fast. It goes through, it optimizes the resources, and it builds everything, and it's done already. Let's go ahead and run this. So I'm going to click on that application it created. As you can see, it acts just like our original project, but it's all contained in one file. And even though it's compressed, it runs very, very fast. Let's do that once more. Now bear in mind what's going on here is this file is decompressing to another temporary spot and then running from there. So when I click on that, you can see how fast it is. That progress window is only there for a quick second. So this, I think, is a really effective way to uh, distribute your stuff, particularly if your end user is not really tech savvy because they just have to click on that file and away they go. I really like using this option a lot. I'm going to go ahead and delete that and let's go back to our main application and look at our final publishing feature. And that is the ISO image feature. Now what this does is it publishes your entire project to a format known as ISO format that you can later burn using a third party CD or DVD burning software. So your favorite burning software. Let's go ahead and uh, press next. And I'm going to set that, uh, or leave that option rather the way it is, auto run ISO. And I'm going to go ahead and build that. Leave the autoplay feature enabled. It takes just a quick second. And we go back to the desktop, and there it is. We've got our ISO image here, ready to burn to CD or DVD ROM using any popular uh, burning software, or any popular software that can handle ISO image. So probably if you're using uh, something like Nero, etc., you would be able to use that. It's a handy way to share projects and also to store them. For example, if you're working with a lot of different projects that you're uh, burning different copies of all the time and distributing, this is a really handy way to back them all up. So you've got all your projects stored as uh, ISO images, and then you can just call them up as you need and run off as many copies as you want. So it's really handy. At any rate, as you can see, any way you slice it, publishing your projects and sharing your projects from Autoplay Media Studio is a breeze. 
No matter whether you're using CD or DVD ROMs, websites, emails, networks, uh, we've got the right format for you and you can get it together in just a couple of clicks and you're ready to go.